think we're good to go. Playing some vintage story today. I am super excited to be back in this game, everyone. I hope you guys are too. Let me uh, test something here real quick. Okay. Um, so yeah, vintage story. Oof, man, we played this. Um, is it going on a year now? At least almost a year ago. Um, and we really enjoyed the first playthrough. I had a lot of fun. And so we're going to be going through Vintage Story again. So we have a new world and everything. Uh, this is actually a multiplayer server. So if you guys are a member, there's server details for members in our Discord. And you're free to essentially play along. Um, hello, Alex. Half a lore is just swinging by. Hello, paper. How's it going? Oh, Cam died. Oh, poor Cam. Oof. And back at spawn he goes. Okay, so we're gonna be trying to find a place to settle today. Um, it's a little bit of a foggy morning, end of May, May 29th. We're doing 30 days per month. We are also, hold on, I was setting up game stuff. Uh, I was doing admin things. So this is, um, the, the spawn area has block protection and everything. I just finished setting that up. That's why I needed to fly around. Um, to kind of prevent griefing and everything. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna get started here. And hopefully survive. In some vintage story. I think I'm gonna go up to the northeast. More north is always better in vintage story, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, so so our last season of vintage story was very very fun. Um, really really enjoyed the playthrough. So we're we're going again. Uh, might have a little bit of a different build style, maybe a little less Nordic. The the dragon kill might make an appearance again, just because I really like the layout of that. Those are three wolves. Okay, I'm gonna back up. I'm not going that way. That's not the way for us to go. Nope, 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 nope. So yeah, for those of you who don't know what Vintage Story is, um, you know, we, we hate to always compare things to Minecraft here, but it is essentially gonna play like a modern Minecraft, but it is its own standalone game. Um, it is written, I believe, in a different language than Minecraft, so think it's actually a little bit better on performance and everything and it also is a lot more hardcore survival um, you are going to be starting at like the neolithic kind of hunter-gatherer phase you're gonna shift into pottery and then you're gonna shift into early metallurgy up to like steel it's kind of the end there so Let's get going. Going on a bit of a journey. Find a place we Oh, look at all these reeds. That's good. Reeds are a great starting resource to find. Uh, we're gonna make some tools here though to harvest it. So let's go ahead and make some knives. Because we do wanna expand our inventory. So we can carry more things when we kind of become nomadic for a little while. All right, knives got. Okay. So yeah, Venture Story, yes, it's back. We, we are very back in. So yeah, Venture Story has that kind of um, very dark background and story, and we are actually kind of standing near a temporal rift. So I want to stay away from that thing. That lowers our temporal stability. Two weeks of Uther's farming. Oh, we have mods though, Matthew. Uh, we, got, we got all the mods. We got realistic growth times. We have expanded foods. 
there's a lot of, of new things that we're going to be experimenting with in this playthrough. Good to see you as well there, bud. Alright, let's keep uh let's keep moving. So we have two baskets already, which is good. That's gonna give us eight additional inventory slots. So we're just gonna be foraging. Hopefully we can find berries and things. Um looks like this is turning into granite gravel. So a little bit more of a rocky terrain. Um not somewhere that I would wanna settle down long term, but uh we can definitely make our way through this area decently. Also check out some some of the water areas for some reeds. Ooh, ruins. We are using the expanded ruins mod. So we will have additional ruins to potentially explore and check out. Oh nice, comes with some berry bushes. So what do we got here? We got uh, what appears to be either an old church or keep of some kind nice decent amount of reeds found a shovel and an axe so we don't need to make that it's pretty handy um in theory you could salvage this as a potential base and i could do that um but i'm not going to i think this is a little too close to spawn so I kind of want to go out a little bit farther. So there's some lead. Uh, let's see, we got some flax. And some clay. And we got enough reeds for another inventory slot. It's pretty good in and of itself. We have a broken static transponder. A gold coronet. Or a crown. Jailer boots. Firewood carrots, which take 69 days to grow. Turnips. I also have a scroll. It's our first journal item. All right, let's read these letters. Coldridge Master's ledger, date unknown. Our food stocks are depleted. We've only dried wolf and rabbit meat left. Largely, we were left to chewing leather now. Our vests, our belts, our boots. We draw our last breaths. The huntsman's corpse managed to trap two healthy squirrels in a gray gosling. Not more than ten hours ago, I'd wager. Not nearly enough to feed all the workmen. The ones in the mines had to be prioritized, as expected of their labor. Despite the additional meal, their health is declining. We were running out of options. Furthermore, Joseph, Barda, and Jaren were taken this day. They did not go willingly. The others might still have a chance. I have to believe so for my own sake. Oof. Let's go ahead and mark this uh, on the map as a potential teleport location. Let's just say Ruin Fort Teleporter. Okay, and this gold... Is that better than our boots? Yes. We'll equip these boots and the gold coronet. We are essentially a king. Already. All right. Wow, it was that easy. Who would have thought finding a crown in a, in a ruin would, would do it for us? Also, I am using, um, we do have the, a mod on the server for different classes. The rebalancing of their skills. I am what is called a laborer class. Uh, so I have specific traits according to that. So you're back playing Minecraft. Yep. 100% playing Minecraft. This is the uh, best Minecraft version they've come out with yet. Alright, let's keep looking. I want to I wanna at least get like a thousand to two thousand blocks from spot before... I make a camp. 
think that's reasonable. Let's get rid of these shoes. I don't need them. Alright, we got some more reeds over here. And we just need three more reeds. And then I'm going to start harvesting the roots. Because we might need to bring some plantable reeds with us, depending on where we end up. I don't know. If I break this with my hand, do I just get the root in that? Fibers? No, I only get the fibers and no fruit. That's interesting. How's it going, Roger? How's everyone's Tuesday going? It's been a little while since I uh, talked to the community. I've been kind of busy uh, playing World of Warcraft Wrath of Lich King. Because <laughs> I got dragged back into that. Like it was the year 2008. Uh, let's just bring 10 of these uh, cattails with us. So we keep just progressing, trying to gather as much travel distance as possible before the end of the day. It's already 1543. I am seeing a lot of water. You're doing good. How's everyone else doing? I'm glad you're doing well. I'm hanging in. Let's go this way. All right, we got some rain. Beautiful weather for us. Uh, do I need? Yeah, I need to harvest some dry grass as well. All right, let's go ahead and just break this knife on dry grass. We'll get an inventory slot back and the dry grass that we need. So that'll be doubly good. Traversing. The landscape. So we kind of bumped up the height settings on this game world compared to the last one I played on. So there's going to be a lot more mountainous regions. Though you can see that we still get kind of rolling hills as well. Hello, Uther. Long time since I've seen your stream. Well, welcome. Always good to see people kind of return every now and then. I haven't streamed in a while either, so. Maybe I should have installed a boat mod if, uh, if there's all this water. All right, there's another ruin up ahead. I think that's where we'll uh, stay for the night. Probably. Maybe make that our first almost east watch post as a gateway to the northeast here. Maybe we can gather some things and, and kind of stockpile for the area a little bit. Get in here. Ooh, uh, torch holder. That'll be handy. Uh, let's go into the actual built tower. See if we can get a roof over our head. A little bit, at least. How do you get in there? 
Yes, this is a new season of Vintage Story. We are starting fresh. Okay, this isn't bad. Torch. We'll go down, grab that torch holder. And that way we can have a permanent light up here. Alright, so there was a ladder here the whole time. We just didn't see it because we're blind. Let's see, where's that torch holder? There it is. Good finds here initially. that we don't need a fire to keep light going we can just use the torch once it's in a holder like that it actually burns forever so it doesn't go out um set up here see what we got we got another translocator uh, some more vessels and a view from the top it looks like Yeah, we'll say this is, uh, let's go ahead and mark this. Uh, let's do this, and we'll mark it kind of reddish, as if it's kind of military-ish. Um, east. Watch tower. We have our second little waypoint. Help us navigate around. So what we need is we need a little bit of storage. Um, as you can see, we're still pretty... We need to go ahead and make our other basket. Still pretty heavy on the inventory space. There is a new tool that we have a mod for. Uh, we have primitive tools installed and we can make an ads uh, head with that. And what this tool does is it scrapes bark off of the logs. And the only purpose for that is to make kind of bark baskets. Which are kind of nice. I have no more sticks. So we're going to have to go to the shore real quick. Maybe... <laughs> oh boy, Hunter just got, uh, got ramped. A little rough over there. Not a whole lot of trees in this area, so definitely not a long term spot we should stay. How much bark do I get by using, actually I need a stick, stick, tool head, and we get four. And to make a basket, we need a fair amount of bark. So let's go get some more maple logs, I guess. So is this an open world multiplayer or a private server? I used, um, my funds from running this YouTube channel to actually buy a 40 slot server. So if you guys are a member of the channel, um, you can find the server information in our Discord and you're free to join. It's gonna be up 24 seven for about 180 total days. So about a half a year. You're, you're free to group up. 
some roles are listed in the Discord for the members section as well. I just need one more log. And then I'll do it. I can find just one. A lot of shrubs in this area. No real, real trees to speak of. That's maple, right? We, we are using maple. Yes, we are using maple. Quite enough bark yet. Guess it'll be one more or so. Nope, that's oak. We can't mix bark types for a basket. It's got to be uniform bark. There we go, maple basket, one maple basket. Let's head uh, over to... Now the nice thing about this tool too, is you get the basket, but also you still have the logs as firewood. So it's, it's, it's dual purpose. You can still take the strip logs, which do look different than the normal logs, but you can still turn that into firewood, which is good for us. Um, I also might need to find some food soon. I'm not seeing any food berries around. Uh, we got some mushrooms. Let's see, what do we got? We got uh, this vegetable. We can cook this. So we can cook some charred mushrooms for dinner, I guess. I think that'll be good for us. Uh, let's carve it's like eight mushrooms or so. Is this on mobile? Uh, not that I'm aware of, no. I have to eventually make a little bridge to get out here a little bit easier. Alright, see this is why the torch is nice. We, we have light permanently in here. Okay, let's just... Uh, Plop like three of those down, plop that down, and then we can grab this torch real quick. Use that to light the fire instead of a fire starter. Because it's kind of guaranteed and a little bit quicker. We'll cook up some mushrooms. And uh, we can set a simple basket, I guess, up here in this windowsill. Actually, let me move that over a little bit. This is one of those cool blocks that kind of angle it if you want to. All right, yeah, well, let's store some seeds and things that we're not actively immediately using. Save inventory space. Store some firewood for later. Okay. All right, 
let's come out here. See what's left in some of these ruined little bits. We got more dry grass, which is fine. Feathers, some sticks, some healing ointment. Uh, some more seeds. seeds, store these feathers. Oh, I have a spare hand basket. I didn't even realize. Okay. You might have found that in some of those jars. Alright. Let's uh, grab some food. It's not very good food. I think they, uh, while cooking them does improve their their value a little bit. It's just not worth the time and firewood at this moment. Alright, let's maybe there's another jar down here. Okay. It's the first time seeing this game. It looks like it has more detailed game mechanics instead of just being a simplified Minecraft. Correct. I think it's actually made by some Minecraft modders um, that were tired of kind of the limitations of the Minecraft kind of engine, in a way. So they uh, got together and kind of made their own game, which is pretty cool. And then of course this game has its own modding community as well. I want this to kind of still feel submerged, so I'm fine with walking over the water like this, but at least I don't have to jump anymore. To get up in here. Okay, so we need uh, a little bit more storage for the short term, because we still have some things to kind of get rid of. Um, Tool-wise, I guess we can start making uh, some spearheads because we might have to go kill a, an animal or so this next day just for some food. So get some flint spearheads here. make five spears so they are melee weapons but they can also be thrown and I think throwing them um, is more effective for hunting you just need more of them because uh, animals will basically kind of two-shot me if they get aggressive due to my class so my class is laborer so we, we actually have some perks and stuff um, so we have hard workers, so our mining speed and, and ore drop chances are kind of there. Um, also crops drop even more for us. Um, we get less hunger rate, a little bit faster walk speed. We're a little faster than normal. Uh, we can craft reinforced chisels, die maker, we can make some die. We can craft reinforced kits to, for strengthening tools. Um, but we're also civilians, so we do actually less range weapon damage. Less range weapon accuracy. 
Uh, less damage with melee weapons. We get minus 30% loot from animals. Minus 40% animal harvesting speed. Uh, and we also have two lower health points than we would maybe otherwise. is it? It's about one in the morning. Let's go uh, maybe just gather some more Requires a two block tall solid wall to lean. So this is this is something new that they added here in a recent patch. Is you can actually lean tools against walls. So to store them, I can kind of keep my spears at hand like that against the wall. Grab two more slabs just to make that a little bit easier to get over to. Yes, it's very dark. It's tolerable on my on my area my uh my screen, but YouTube compression will always make it look a lot darker than it is. Um, what we can do is actually start bringing a torch or two with us. That'll that'll help if I do that. That way you guys can still see. We'll make some torches by heating up some uh, dry grass and stick in a fire. Once they get up to 300 degrees Celsius, they'll uh, combust. And you can see, even though I don't have fuel right now, we still have heat going here. So instead of wasting a full log, maybe I can just use a stick, just one stick, and, and get this back up above 300, which will heat this up to give us another thing. So you have options. All right, so as long as I don't submerge myself, it becomes daylight very early. Wow, 240. Um, I see something out there. It looks like there might be a trader. We we'll want to mark him on our map in case uh, we find something to sell. So my game plan, I have no idea. Uh, it'll, it'll be dependent on what area catches my eye to live at. So this guy has a bow. Um, doesn't really buy much. But we'll mark him. Merchants are gonna be kind of a blue color, I think. All right. I'm going to pick 
up some flint around a little bit. Uh, we also might need find a berry bush here. Let's let's cut down this this tree here. Hey Aqua, how's it going? Thanks for re-upping that membership, dude. Appreciate it. This should give us a good amount of bark and some additional firewood just to keep stocked there at uh, East Watch Fort. Hashtag Taco Bell and server money. <laughs> Thanks, Matthew. I appreciate it, dude. Two more of those. Jace also becoming a member. Supporting the channel. Enjoy the emotes. Appreciate it. We have some vintage story specific emotes. Good old Jeff. And then, uh, wow, there's a lot of mushrooms around. go off berries though all right don't need to be carrying a torch at the moment now look at that mountain range that's that's an impressive chunk of stone over there I'm barely in my load distance I would expand my load FOV, I just, you know, I want to keep performance on this stream as high as possible. By the way, uh, since it's been a little while since I streamed chat, how's audio and video and everything? It's all uh, normal, I hope. Alright, so. Basket seed. Let's have a seed box. Some kind, that sounds good. All right. All right, seems to be missing a couple of gears. I've seen the gears before. Yeah, so we need to find some rusty gears and also a specific type of gear for this to function for the translocator. Um, actually, I think it requires temporal gears, which we only get when we um, get into some, some combat eventually. Speaking of combat, since it's daytime, let's uh, let's test the hunting spears out. Hunting spears. Let's go and grab these guys. All right, five spears at negative two HP a spear. We actually might need a couple more spears. So let's make uh, maybe two more spears. That twenty percent damage reduction is going to really hurt us. 
Turning a ruin into a home. This is more like a, a temporary shelter to survive the first night. I just wanted to have it supplied because if I die and I had to respawn um, and I don't have my spawn set, you know, this is a good midway point. I think uh, we're about a thousand blocks from spawn. I want to go probably out to around here at least. In fact, I might even go up to like there. Let's just mark that. Let's just mark that as potential home. Um, so we can always, you can see that on the map now as to where we're going. Okay. Store this stuff in here. All right, let's go hunting. There's a cow. This is actually a modded animal. Uh, I've never killed one before. I have no clue what they drop. There's also some calves with it. Or I can just hunt bunnies. You know what? Cow or bust. Oh boy. All right. That accuracy is actually really, really bad. <laughs> okay. Our guy can nat throw a spear to save his life. That is troublesome. I literally aimed at that guy and the spear was just like to the left. Oh no. Okay, well, let's just see. Okay, so it's a runner. Okay, it runs. Could just because it's a female. Nope! Alright, we got him. So it took four or five spears to get it. Dead cow. See what we get. Large hide, which is good. Four bone. And 13 red meat. That's a lot of meat on that guy. Even with my minuses to uh, harvesting animals. That's a, that's a lot. Let's get this meat. Um... Let's get a drying rack. I think we can make those. Hold on. It's a modded item. Um, let's do... Hey, bull dress. Uh, so we got meat racks, which is, we, we need metal for that. Oh, what are these? Curing racks. So we might need some curing racks. Yeah, we're, we're a laborer at the moment. So sticks and a rope. You can get a curing rack. All right, let's put our spears away. We don't need to be carrying them. They take up a lot of inventory room. our proverbial armory okay so we got sticks which is good we need rope um, what do you need for rope okay we need more reeds
So yeah, we're gonna try out this drying rack, see what that does. Hopefully something good. Okay, and we already have two logs. So just the two logs, some sticks, and a rope. So, log, log. Sticks like that. And a rope, and you got a pine hearing rack. Just like that. Okay, so I think you need to make a hook. Um, which we do have bones. Uh, we need, we're actually one bone short, so you have to go get some more bones. Maybe if we... Find a rabbit or something smaller maybe than just the cow. Is that a baby bunny? I think that's a baby bunny. around okay there's an a way oh, man I could attack that and then maybe lure it into the water all right that's what I'm gonna try Okay, did it, did it flee instead of, uh, yes, okay, it's, <laughs> it's going down into the, we won't see you again, Paul. That cave-in was actually pretty convenient. Blocked him from going down there. Sheep hide and more bone. Okay, cool. Let's go uh, see if we can make this rack then. made. I don't have enough bone for another, so well, let's just see what this does, I guess. Um, we might not be in a good spot for that to actually work well. I hope others join with you. I think it'd be cool to see what comes of it. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, they don't have to necessarily build with me or anything. They could build their own stuff. Maybe just take a tour of their area. I tend to have a very specific way to build, which can... Um, Uh, start the fire again and we'll cook some of this meat since we don't have enough bone it's not so much privacy it's just um you know i'm gonna be building a specific kind of layout thing and so I tend to just be a little standoffish with building to my own detriment.
Um, what's the sheep hide do? Anything? Ingredient for sheep hide boots. Fur lined parka. Interesting. Can I place it on the ground? <laughs> Jeff mod would be cool. Agreed. I wish we could just put that on the ground, but maybe you can't. Well, we're not gonna have barrels for tanning anything anytime soon. It's gonna require metal. So we'll just we'll just uh store it. I guess. So we have two large things of hide. Let's check on our food. Join for mandatory fun. I think you would just like to skulk around, like while I'm trying to sleep in my hut or something. And just be like Jeff, 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 and then I go out there and no one's there. And yes, Jeff is essentially a Pokemon. He's I can only say his own name. We'll find plenty of Jeffs to kill this season, I think, though. Think about potentially let's see it's 12 we could proceed on This is fine for the little outpost. I'll keep the spears here too. All the firewood. That I think is fine. Uh, we'll take the seeds with us. We need seeds. Wherever we end up going. Uh, we'll take the rope. The healing ointment. This stuff. The flint. Alright, I think... I think that's good. We'll be okay. Let's keep heading up towards our potential house location. Why is why is work pinging me right now? I'm busy. head on up so something about um, that you guys might be interested in knowing since, since this is a multiplayer safe and the server is gonna be running 24 7 yeah team sense true um, the server is gonna be running 24 7 so that means we're gonna have 30 uh, day months but also growing times are scaled and realistic to that so you might say, well, Uthris, your food's going to grow really quick. Well, maybe, but not if the food takes 70 days to grow one carrot, <laughs> you know? If it takes 70 days, then that's, um, you know, a little over two real days for that carrot to come to fruition. And I can put in a lot of hours and stuff. Ooh, native copper here. I'm going to mark this. Nat copper. Okay, mark 
like that. Very good. So we'll just have to make sure that we have a good enough storage system and a pantry to store a bunch of our food too for winter. Because winter is going to last, you know, three real days. I hear Jeff's. There's a Jeff. All right, we're leaving. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a simple civilian, please. I'll take some of that too. I like these trees. Pine trees are always lovely to craft things out of. No, 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 wolf, wolf. Flee. Okay, I think it gave up on us. We, we were we were lightning fast through its territory. So we lucked out, I think. Boy, a lot of resin. To find. What is uh what is resin kind of used for? It's uh yeah, it's used for like the kind of automation of stuff. What are frames? I have no clue what frames are. Oh, this is the beekeeping. We can have uh, a beekeeping mod installed, too. That, uh, you know, kind of creates a, a better beekeeping gameplay. Okay, gathered some seeds using that pot there. That's a wolf. I'm gonna go this way instead. Some more berries, okay. Big grouping is a berry bushes, that's nice. Berries are still extremely strong. Uh, almost tundra -y area. We get we gotta move very very quick. Uh, we're already like halfway through this in-game day, and I don't want to be caught exposed outside too much. seeds this is just an accident waiting to happen here look at this yeah I don't want to fall down there that would not be very good and of course without the kind of forming a base all the way out here you know, the incentive on us is to not die. Here's another little fort ruin. Could make this another stop. Does I have another torch holder? Does not. Good, good. more seeds. Got all the seeds. Shovels. Would dig down, but I don't. Again, I don't want to spend too much time. Let's just keep going. We won't bother building up that little uh, checkpoint. All right, definitely can't build a base here. It's uh, not fertile soil at all. No water source either. Um, for farming, we would have to like bucket everything in. But this could end up being a good granite kind of quarry. We do have the quarry mod installed, um, which we can get to once we get some tools. 
and we're gonna explain that, but um, it, it kind of helps getting that smooth stone farmed off and adds a little bit of a mechanic for, to do so. Oh boy. All right, there we go. We're getting we're getting out of the gravel. Back into some good terrain over here. What is that? Those are like ribs coming out of the ground over here. Some sort of altar? I mean, they look really cool. Oh. Okay. Another locator, a little fire pit, another torch holder. Um. Another scroll for lore. A copper lantern, are you serious? That's awesome. That solves our lighting issue permanently. The blind bad Rickert. Never go into the caves, never go under the ground. Haven't you heard the story of the blind bat Rickert? He was a young boy, just like you lot, curious, rambunctious, and ready for adventure. Some say he was born in one of the villages around here. Well, there wasn't much to do in the fields for a boy like that. He couldn't be bothered with tilling the soil or gathering wheat. One year, as it came to be harvest season, he decided to slip away while everyone else was working. He knew his father would be furious, but Rickert was a greedy boy and he wanted his adventure. After a long day of trape trapezing? Through the, ha through the heath and forest, young Rickert had a great deal of fun and now the wrath of his father was clear in his mind. He was terrified of going home, so he decided he would stay out for the night and give his father time to calm down worry about him. He wasn't very bright, but he wasn't very stupid either. He at least knew better than to be caught roaming about at night. By the time it was almost gone, he had stumbled upon a deep, well-hidden cave and decided he'd pass the night there. Oh. We'll have to uh, find out more. As time progresses. Bunch of clay. And reeds. That's fire clay. That's kind of nice. Oh, and another basket. Can I store stuff in this or no? No. I don't want to take things out. Uh, we'll mark this as a portal location. We'll call this. Rickert's cave. Yeah. Did I even spell that right? Yeah, Rickart. Uh... Alright, we're really close to our potential house symbol. So, let's see what the terrain is like over here, boys. This is where we may settle down. Keyword is may. Oh, that hurt. Okay. It's a bandage. Get some food. Do we have any ripe berries here? We don't. A little rock slide going on. Over there.
Now that is a mountain. That's just a bulb. Over here could be cool. What kind of rock strata do we have over here? Um, granite still? Okay. So a good solid choice. Looks like it's changing to basalt potentially as well. In this valley. There's some clay here. kind of a coastline. So we're kind of at an impasse. Do we go north or more? Let's maybe go 600 blocks to the um, east more. Let's go more northeast. wasn't dropping anything. Maybe it requires a site to harvest the grain. It's been a little while, so I have to kind of relearn some things. All right, let's go this way. I wouldn't mind being, you know, close to a mountain with some water. That would be cool. What kind of terrain chat would you guys like to see us uh, kind of build in? A lot of flint here, too. Like maybe we could have a, uh, like up here. Like really, ow, 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 rock slide, careful. I mean, this is a kind of a defensible mound here. Have some fields out this way, built up along this mound. What do you guys think of that idea? I mean, we're kind of up in the hill. Oh, look at that lake. Kind of do a terraced kind of look over here. The trader's kind of interfering. You can't build around traders, which is a little annoying. This is interesting. It's very flat, but we're very high up. Might be pushing my luck a little bit, though. Ah, oh, you know what? This this makes me think Ireland a little bit. Doesn't doesn't this have an Ireland feel? Or Scotland? Look at this coast. Just want to scout around a little bit more while well, we still have some light. It's going to be turning dark soon. 
That's uh. It is super windy up here too. All right, so it's not really getting any more interesting over that way. Um, the hills kind of get broken up a little bit more, which is fine. I honestly really like that initial mound that we came across, so that might be where we lay our claim. This windy hillside along the coast. I think it's gonna be home. We do have a little bit of trees to work with. We will have to be careful with these. These are large. I've never seen large, I don't think, in the game. Because they don't sound familiar. Um, you're saying like back here, like where the, that little valley is at? House on a mountain? Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to see. Let's, uh... Oh, boy. So I still have my ads. Got a shovel. I don't need Galena. I don't need lead right now. So I'm gonna just throw this. One cattail is not really enough for anything good. Does that get affected by wind? Maybe a little bit. I also don't need fire clay right now. Um, <laughs> okay, so let us... Make an axe head. We'll cut down some logs, get some baskets. Uh, am I building a house inside or outside of ground? I don't know. I might have to look at some uh, resource material about kind of maybe Irish and Scottish architecture to kind of see what I can pull from long term. Also, I think, oh shoot, do I need a knife for that? Oh no, no, okay, good. Uh, these vines, uh, not the tips per se, there's the normal vine um, is useful as well. So I wanted to see if I can grow vine. I, I, I've never tested growing vine before in Vintage Story. I know you can obviously in Minecraft, but like wild vine, is a good rope ingredient. Um, which can then be used for, you know, candles and stuff. Or a microphone <laughs> for an instrument. Scrap weapon kit. Put on an active hand, hold right mouse button to craft a scrap weapon. Okay, 
yeah, there's there's a lot for us to try and relearn here. So all right, let's cut down a large tree. Let's see what the the wood coloration's like on this. I like the outside. It's a little pine, you know, a little whiter. Some hints, hints of browns and blues. It's a very beautiful. And it looks like it's a white wood, which is cool. Um, we need to really conserve these trees, though. So I will have to. Hey, Axe, how's it going, man? We'll have to break some leaves to try and find some seeds for these. They're also very branchy trees. Look at how many branch branch leaves there are in this thing. Very branchy. Which is kind of hawthorn tree. What's a Is this a Sure, Hawthorn tree stem. What is that? Where's a stone axe to break? Okay. Hawthorn tree cutting. Burn temperature 600 degrees. It's not like crazy high or anything. I have no clue what this would be for. Oh. Okay, so whatever these hawthorn trees are. It might be like a fruit tree. Interesting. Well, we'll see what it got, what it does. Forty percent chance of survival doesn't really bode well for them, but uh, better than nothing. I'm just storing these for now. I haven't gotten uh, a single seed yet. these trees man this is a very sturdy tree Either that or just very, very big. I think we found essentially the area. It's gonna be this area. Um, I haven't found the exact spot yet, no. We need to go find some bushes, I think, though. Before we start starving. Oh my lord, this tree is god. It's a god tree. stem. Yeah, I don't know why that was invisible. A little weird. Uh, did we get any seeds for that? No. That has me a little worried. Oh, there's a little lake here. Here's the trader. Okay. 
Okay, elderberries are a little poisonous. Let's not eat those. Who would have thought? Oh, nice. We have limestone here, too. This is pretty awesome. Alright, we're just gonna find some berries real quick to eat. Hopefully we won't die before then. There's no fish in that pond. Should have brought some of that meat with us, chat. Let's check this pond. Could be fishing here. Way too late now. Mm. This is actually pretty bad. We're in a bad situation here. Oh, wait. Berries saving us, as always, like berries do. Berry life is strong. take eight days to flower. With the longer grow times, these berry bushes are kind of nerfed, which is good, honestly. Berries, berries are way too strong in this game, in my opinion. Any ore? Um, we did find some surface ore a little while ago, but we... I'm not seeing any, like, exposed ore veins at the moment. My Raz Berry bushes, man. Alright, looks like we might be able to live for another day. One more day. Okay, unless I cause a landslide and I die. Let's not cause a landslide. As much as possible. Alright, what do we got? So this area Okay. Hear me out, chat. This is this is going to be a very long-term plan. So along the ridge line, we can build a wall. Okay? This lake can eventually spill out into this lake. Might widen this too a little bit. And maybe even widen this one, right? So you can like spill that out through there. Uh, maybe eventually you have like a sawmill there. Manor home, I'm thinking on the tallest peak there. Other miscellaneous buildings along the edge. Eventually, irrigation and farmland out through here. Maybe windmill on that mound. Of some kind. Mm -hmm. 
So architectural style, let me go to Google, my good friend Google. Um, traditional Irish buildings. Uh, let's see here. A lot of stone in Irish buildings. A lot of plaster stone. Uh-huh. Let's do uh, traditional Scottish, Scottish buildings. Kind of the same, but a little bit different. Okay. Okay, careful coming down. Um, let's just take this route. This route looks to be the safest at the moment. All right. There's some ruins nearby too. So we might, let's camp at those ruins. Um, it'll be a temporary base while we decide on some basic foundations, scale, and other things. So we're, we're gonna, we're gonna kind of camp around these ruins here initially. Um, so what we need to do is maybe make a little bit of a roof. Maybe just a shack attached to this thing. Uh, but we also need a fire, so let's let's get our fire pit here. And our storage started. Half block. Okay, a little floaty. We can fix that. Alright, so this one's gonna be our seeds. Seed storage, easy. This one's gonna be uh, the kind of materials, so do something like that. Let's chop this into firewood. this vessel. Maybe we can store some firewood down here. Firewood storage. Okay, that cleared up some room. Let's check this other room. Is this? Uh, okay, so this is Galena. That's red. Seed vessel. Nice. What are these? These are soybean. They're growing 64 days. Yeah, check check out some of these growth times, chat. Uh, spelt, 109 days. Carrot, 69 days. Turnip, 54 days. Cabbage, 69 days. Farming is going to be a lot bigger um, and a lot more accurate to scale now. Going to need a good irrigation system too. Uh, um, let's get a wooden pan. There's a, I need a new knife.
love all right wooden pan wooden pans are nice um they will kind of allow for us to pan for some materials down by the coast uh, we can also pan in you know, some of these bone bits so for example if i grab a scoop of this and then go stand in water i can pan some of these bone bits and see what we get Nothing on that one. Here, let's uh, let's move the bony soil. See, now I'm just experimenting. See, this is like I get so like lost in this game, and this is one of the main reasons I really like this game is that there's just so much little things to do that. It's just like, okay, well, we're doing this. Oh, well, you know, actually there's there's bony soil. Maybe we can pan some of that real quick just to kind of see what we get. So you come over to your panning area. You can find lore items of bony soil. You can find metals, of course. arrowheads you love to play this game it looks amazing you can get it there's a link in the description of the video it's 21 dollars it's a really good game and then of course if you guys are a member of the channel uh, and you have the game you can join our server yeah so we got native silver we got a flint arrowhead PC. Oh. Yeah, I think it's only for PC. Huh. Well, let's get killed by a wolf. Rough life. Rough life over there. Very good luck on the uh, bony soil right now. Alright, I think that's enough panning for us. So, let's just store that. Okay, um. Boy, what do I, what do I use? Do I just sacrifice some of this other ruin over here maybe for building materials it, oh my lord look at that rock slide that whole mountain is shedding it's dirt layers So I don't think I can pick up this, but I can pick up all the cobblestone stuff with my hands. Um, I don't need anything special to do that. 
So that's kind of the nice thing about the uh, ruins is it can kind of give you building materials. Team looks cool. Is is your place ready yet? No, not yet. But uh, we're we're just now gonna start settling down. I think. Like even the polished stone you can pick up with your hand. You don't need a tool with. It's this uh, rock that we can't. I think dry stone we can't pick up either, it looks like. Cobble and these polished stone. Crap. So that's dry, I can't grab that. If you think this game's cool so far, uh, wait until we start chiseling, okay? If you guys haven't checked out my previous gameplay of this uh, on the channel, I definitely recommend it. Still have to get this game, maybe my PC can handle it. Hopefully. It's an awesome game. I don't need arrowheads. My, my, my character sucks with the bow because of my skills. Okay, let's, uh, let's grab these slabs too. Okay, so what we're gonna do... I'm gonna clear out these bushes. What we're gonna do. See my vids and boosters? Oh, nice. Yeah, we're actually playing on a one player server right now. Used to watch the series as well. Right on, right on. I hope you're ready for way too much free time and chiseling again. Okay. So we're just gonna build out from this initially. Dumb bush, go away. Yeet. Slabs are killing me. side. Oh, come on. Because you gotta, you gotta have the full block on the interior at least so that you can uh, use the full interior space. Half slab walls new. Actually, I just don't think it's something that I've ever really did much with. Since we're sacrificing not sacrificing, but building kind of from ruin pieces. Um, we're, we're doing this as like a, a kind of a cheap building material. Can't wait for the blackjack tables. We actually have a mod installed for chess, go, and checkers. Um, you can actually play people in chess, go, and checkers in this game.
Okay, you first don't lose your mind. There we go. Okay, uh, door. I need a simple rough hewn gate is probably the best. So four logs, four sticks, and an axe. Uh, we got plenty of sticks, we just need more logs. But to do that, I need a new axe. Oh man, we have no trees. <laughs> Why am I building here? Oh boy. Okay, let's let's go. Wait, what's this? Is this Pete? Yeah, it's Pete. Nice. So maybe we can use Pete. Man, this is a hundred percent Irish land. All right. I was joking about it being like Irish Scottish area, but we even have peat grass. Which is a really good, just kind of standard fire place material for uh, getting fires going and cooking food. So that's that's actually pretty pretty good. Fertility soil, which I'll just place back. Save inventory room. Um, am I gonna get lucky and find some more berry bushes? Uh, we're low on food again. Any fish in this pond? No. Because why would there be? Even if we start like starving, I think we'll be okay. Have to cut this tree in multiple chunks here. Larches are no joke. These are solid wood. be the only trees that I've been able to like walk out on branches like that that I've ever run into in this game is this snow already now already it, it's it's late late spring so it's not quite summer yet could change are those wolves yes those are wolves all right come on there's got to be some berry bushes around here that then I'm just gonna have to slowly heal my way through uh, a whole starvation period oh 
I could cook some of these cattails. Let's do that. All right, before we die of starvation. Six cattails, probably gonna be enough. At least to buy us some time to go find some more food. We might need to get some more spears made for this area. But you also wanna get all the walls up too. There's, <laughs> guys, there's a lot for us to try and finish before nightfall. bushes and grown. Do we even have clay here? We have peat clay too? Okay. Up up here. Make this fire. Cook these, they cook at 150 degrees Celsius. All right, we should start cooking now. Very good. Just bandage real quick to regen some HP. One of these bandages, by the way, can heal half of my HP. So that's something to keep in mind as we slowly, slowly take damage. Um, we need more straw mats, which I can do. So let's throw the hay on the ground and get one more straw mat. Can forest fires happen in this game? Yes. Yes, they can. Bed acquired ish. I think I'm gonna try and move a lot of this stone around here. We're gonna go up another layer. We're gonna leave some gaps for some windows. Might mix in some more stairs along the base. Um, just to kind of mix up the wall variety there. 125 saturation. But she'll, she'll do us for a bit. Let's, uh, let's drop some peat. in here and start storing some of that as well. All right, I have a little bit of food. Um, while that's still cooking, the other one's up. Use that time. Run, look for some more berries or something. Or we can go grab more cattails, either or. Surprised I'm not seeing any fish at the moment. Oh, there's a fish. Ooh, there's a few fish. Come here, fish. Oh, 
Well, we're having salmon. Can't wait till they add fishing in this game. They just added these fish here recently. Uh, oh, you know what? We can get some raspberries. That's good. Back off, cow. I don't. I don't mean you no harm. Don't hit up me. There's some mint. Vegetable? Yeah, fishing is not in the game yet. There is a mod that kind of adds um, fishing traps, I think, and nets. But no fishing pole. But they just added the fish to the world. So, like, those fish swimming around were not there last time I played. Um, so, hopefully, that means they're getting much closer to it. I think they also teased out a few other images of, like, Potentially a boat um, and stuff. Though I hope the boating mechanics in this game are gonna be cooler than uh, Minecraft. No one likes some raft in Minecraft, it's pretty lame. Let's be honest. Side still shedding its dirt. There's a lot of shrubs in this area. Okay. Jumping on the bed bounce you? Yes, it does. Hm. Little things about this game, guys. All right, I'm gonna push this wall back one. Uh, that's gonna give us a little bit more room on the interior here. Then I'll be able to use some of these blocks along the edge side. I guess there
We're just kind of a gate. So the nice thing about the rough hewn gates, unlike the uh, rough hewn doors, is the rough hewn gates don't have a chance to like fall off. When just opening them. And you only, you know, this is, this is just gonna be a two by one opening here. Don't need anything super fancy for that. slabs that I can grab. I wonder if these fences can work for walls too. Not quite. Maybe along this edge a little bit it could. <laughs> this is going to turn into the jankiest build I think I've ever done. And honestly, I love it for that. with the tool. It's a little bit faster. I just don't want to waste durability doing that. There's so much grass. Oh my lord, I need to do like some landscaping. You know what? Let's do it the easy way. fine. That's not going to spread forever, is it? Look, I'm just I'm just clearing some brush, okay? This is okay. We're just clearing some brush out. Nice breathing room. Okay, so now I need staircases.
Um. Hey, it's Jeff. Ow, Jeff, buddy. No, no. Ow. Stop it, Jeff. Stop throwing rocks at me, bro. Why are you like this? Ow. Screw you, Jeff. No one liked you anyways. Ow! Fuck! Stop it. Oh no, there's more than one Jeff. Ow! Crap. Okay, okay, okay. I knew I, sh I, sh I should have made that axe I was talking about, I feel. Oh, you you running from me, Jeff? You running from me now? Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Ow. Oh, crap. Jeff, dude, you are such a dick right now. Ow, stop it. I wish I could throw flint at you. Oh my god, there's so many of you guys. Stop it. I need to kill you guys so that I can actually get what I want out of you. Oh my god, there's so many. Um, there's like nothing I can do about this. I should have brought spears. Also, this fire is getting out of out of control. Um. Take that, Jeff. I throw a rock at you. What are you gonna do now, bud? All right. Take that. Oh, you're gonna throw rocks at me too? You're gonna do me like that? Screw you, Jeff. Screw you, Jeff. Ow! Screw you, Jeff. Oh, you running now? Who's throwing rocks at glass houses, huh? Huh? You throwing stones? Throwing stones? Please, temporal gear. Okay. One miss. Two miss. Three miss. Okay. Alright, well, we definitely did a bush fire, so I need to um, stop the fire from spreading now. So, hold on. Before it like destroys our server, I need to stop it. All right, firefighter Uthris is on the scene. Uh, he's here to deal with what fire starter Uthris kind of did. Ooh! More fire.
Put it out, put it out. Oh no. It got to the bush. Stop. Please. Yield. <laughs> it's so smoky. Look, all I did was light three small fires, okay? Just, just three. What did I do to deserve this? Maybe you shouldn't play with matches. Uh, I was using a torch, thank you very much. The matches are in the bedside drawer. Mom and Dad keep them away from me. Oh, Jeff, why? What's up, Silent? How's it going? Screw you. Did you disable your Discord audio? Uh, no? What's up? So I just... I'm gonna wait, like, ten seconds to hear your reply. Well, that was through the stream. I didn't press my mic button. Gotcha. Are you fucking guide? Well, the server Stop just it. looks stable. Talking about the talking about this server? Yeah, but granted, there's probably not a lot been built. No, not a, not a lot. <laughs> oh my god, it's an inferno. Wait, it's burning all my peat! Fuck, I let, I let the ground on fire! You're wrecked. It's also kind of killing all the Jeffs, so I, I kind of like that, but also at the same time, that's not very good. Oh my god, it's spreading faster than I can deal with it. You're just gonna have to let it run its course. Burn the world. All my. I. I literally needed this stuff. Well, none for you. Alright. Oh man, I have a temporal rift here too? I wonder there's so many Jeffs. Let's do damage control, at least still over this way. And I still have control, at least over here, a little bit. Can you, like, dig a trench and try and cut off its progression? Oh no, I'm on fire. Water. Um. Well, the problem is, the thing I care about is the pee. And it's already all lit on fire. And it will also spread underground. Also, there's a temporal rift right beside of it, and yeah, no, this is, <laughs> you know those coal mines that kind of get lit on fire and they burn for 300 years? This, this might be what we're <laughs> witnessing right now. Well, just means time to relocate. So, so let me get this right. You lit spawn on fire. And any that's new person... Yeah, but the way the fire is going, will it go to spawn? 
Um, it's going away from spawn. At least you got that going for you. And there's like 2,500 blocks, uh, at least between us and spawn, so. Just now gotta do that, though. It's gonna keep going this way, too. Oh no, I'm hungry again. Fuck. Oh no, I'm out of health things, too. I might actually die here. <laughs> You got nothing going your way, do you? Sure as heck don't. Where's my torch? Oh, I put it in the field to try and prevent Jess from spawning. Sure, you should be allowed to have a torch in your now. Uh, now? Yes. I've actually tried purposely spreading a fire as much as it has already before. Like, I lit, like, a whole field on fire, and it didn't spread this bad. Like, <laughs> this is... This I wonder is if it's little... one of the server settings. Um, I mean, the server is set to allow for fire spread, but it's just, um... Yeah, but I wonder yeah. if it's, like, one of the mods that's tinkered with some stuff. Mm, as far as I'm aware, none of my mods do that. Pack up by now. Okay. Please don't starve. Please don't starve. Please let me eat my root. Okay. Starving prevented. Smokey the bear is going to show up. And then I'm just screwed. Hall was all peat. Oh, does it grow back? No, peat is like a swamp dirt that's like burnable. What are you doing, playing well? I just stole a Serenite node from a Horty. There you go. He's dumb enough to land with 5% health. Alright, chat, let's go, uh. find some food. There's a bunch of dead roosters over here. Yeah, I was gonna jump on the live servers, but uh, they're all still offline. Hmm. Well, they deployed the the expansion pre-patch today. Everything is broken. Issues somewhat resolved. Um, let's see, I need to find some horsetail. I'm surprised I haven't been bombarded with phone calls yet. About what? Work? No, because today's my birthday. Oh, happy birthday, dude. I normally get bombarded by about this time. Then again, it may have realized that I just don't really give a shit because it's just another day.
Uh, what is this? Just a bunch of obsidian poured onto the ground. Do I even want to know? It looks like Stonehenge. Oh no, there's actually Got a copper scythe out of it. And I was kind of hoping titanium would be more plentiful in ice cream. for this interesting little ruin here. It's for summoning demons. Oh, most likely something like that. However, I will be taking this stone path for itself. Uh, so thanks game for providing this for me. feeling I lit my front door on fire too. Let's grab this cobblestone too for flooring. What is obsidian? Obsidian just for? Nothing specific. Just a different type of rock. This cave is paid off. I was hesitant to come into this cave to mine serenite, but I found three rich nodes. here did the fire burn itself out have you uh, I I left the area so I don't know wonder if it'll burn itself out eventually um yeah if it runs out of blocks nearby to jump to it will Rice seeds, nice.
What's up? Just gotta kill a high warlord. Lots of honor. <laughs> the world map literally has a crater from that thing now. But from the pyre? Yeah. I wonder as it burns if that crater will just get bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, uh, luckily it kind of already went through all the peat, so the crater's kind of done. It's just kind of going through tall grass now. But if it keeps going up that hill and goes up to like my trees, then that's gonna be a big problem. Because that's <laughs> like all my lumber. Are you not able to just like dig a deep trench and stop it or put water you in You don't even need a deep trench, you just need like a gap of like burnable materials. Um, I'll take a look at it. I don't I don't think it's spreading anymore, but I could be wrong. <sighs> wow, it even collapsed a mountainside. That's honestly impressive. Yeah, the hole caused the hillside to collapse into it a little bit. Nice. Visually, it's a little buggy, uh, but it'll settle. All right, so it's not burning up this way anymore. It's still burning down towards the water, but honestly, I'm fine with letting that go. It's not going to hurt anything. Well, the water should put it out. Put that um... Out. Or it'll just keep burning along the coastline or something, yeah. Alright, scythe. Okay, now I just need to stick a roof on this thing. Let's do the floor first. Without burning it down? I mean, I make no promises. It'll probably still burn to the ground. Use that to kind of a frame up, and then we're going to use thatch for the actual roof because uh, I, don't, I don't think I have enough stone to give it a proper, like, just full stone roof. Also, thatch will kind of break up the stone in a way.
Tell you one thing, the fire did get rid of all the grass that didn't want to run. So, mission accomplished. When in doubt, just burn it down. I need to check the hillside to see <laughs> see if it's still on fire. Uh, nope, it should finally bore out. A lot of dead animals, though, left from it. Can you lose harvest at all? I think so. Um, what matters is if an animal ate it. So the fact that these aren't killed by an animal, but were killed by a fire. So your meat's pre-cooked. Uh, it doesn't actually cook it. I still have to cook. Boy, my class is not very good at harvesting animals. Uh, man, my inventory is so full. I need way more storage. That's a dangerous serenite mode to go for. One hardy, I dare you. Do it, do it, do it, Hurdy. The ice block, rude. Okay, I'll take it. Yoink. God. Oh, There's another massive avalanche out. going on over there. You could start an avalanche? Yeah, sand, dirt, and, no, well, sand, dirt, and gravel in this game, um, you can set to where they require stability, which means... Um, oh. Well, I mean, you, you kind of know what that means, but essentially hey, if, it's a, if, it's a, if it's a dirt block directly on top of a dirt block, there's a good chance that the top dirt block is going to slide off and try and settle. See, that's something I wish medieval engineers had, was like ground stability. Uh, then we wouldn't have been able to do our giant pit. Well, we could have. It just would have been more of a... A lot a, more support a, 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 it, Well, no, it would have been more of a step mine. Mm, true. It would, have, it would have made it a lot more interesting. I agree. It would give you a reason to build infrastructure inside of your stone mines if you're just going right into the mountain. Mm -hmm. Other than aesthetics. Is there anything other than aesthetic? Well, if you need it for stability. Yeah, but I could make that look pretty aesthetic too. Isn't that how we always do things? I make it work, you make it pretty? Something like that. Have you ever considered actually loading up the community edition for Emmy and... Nope. That much hatred, huh? I wouldn't say hatred, it's just, uh... They didn't change anything, like... Alright, this is gonna be animal parts, I think. So, animal things go in there. Bones. Seed, seed, seed. Bones go in there. Let me move these. Oh. Well.
That no might right be lost. In there for now. Ain't that desperate for titanium? Okay, ingredient for thatch roof, two and four. And do I get, do I get four of them? That's kind of nice. So is there a, a research progression? Or is it just kind of you get what you get right from the get-go? Um, technically everything's unlocked, but if you don't have the tool to make it, you can't do anything. So, um, right now I'm essentially in the Stone Age. Um, so you're just gated by tool quality? Tool quality and tool type. So, like, like um, I have stone tools, but there's no stone pickaxe or prospecting pick to go get metal. So that means the interim stage from stone to metal is you have to get some pottery, find some surface ores, and put that in a crucible, do mold casting using that metal okay. to get your kind of first metal tools, and that's only like copper tier. Now, technically, once you have copper and metal, you, you kind of can do everything. But as you go up through the tiers, the quality increases. Um, Though I do think some iron, iron unlocks some new technology. So like water wheels, um, some more automation stuff. But essentially your first copper tool, your priority has been to get access to just more metal. Metal. Yeah. Safety. And then you can start blacksmithing and, and forging rather than doing metal pours. Because there's that mold for everything. Um, it, it turns into more of a blacksmith thing. The blacksmith and mechanics are really, really good. I'm surprised this Horty didn't try to fight me for the node. Alright, let's go get uh, some more materials for that roof chat. Also, gonna need to find some more food soon. more animals that are dead from fire? Oh, it's a dead lamb. Ugh, doesn't give anything because it's... I think it would have given like one thing, but the character's not really a forager. A sleeping rabbit or a dead one? Oh, you're alive. Uh, this is a dead chicken. Now, if only you could uh, light the forest on fire in Valheim. Oh, Lord, that would be dangerous. <laughs> Though, all the trolls would be dead. So that yeah. would be good. That'd be a thing. How's it going, also, chat? What do you guys think? Satisfactory update seven. They're trying to push out for this year with a passive mode. Passive mode. A uh, disable aggro on all enemies. Oh. The they've already confirmed a creative mode, but that won't release until one point oh.
storing that a little bit. And then grab the scythe. Lucked out and found a scythe, chat. Need a new knife real quick. I'm gonna harvest some of these for food. Which sucks because they don't regrow otherwise, but I need I need the food. I might need to go looking for mushrooms. Mushrooms are good food source at this stage in the game too. Copper totally tool durability goes down really quick. Well, I mean, it's just the first tier metal, right? So like, it's and pretty exponential. Dinner, birthday pizza or Chinese? Uh, hmm. Go Chinese in three days. Pizza's two days work. Payday's on Thursday. I don't know. I don't really have a food budget, so I'm not probably the best person to ask. I just had a $250 dinner. I mean, it's one thing to splurge every now and then, but definitely not gonna mess you. True. I mean, I don't normally eat that. Is seaweed food? Time to be making oh, sushi. Oh, that's rude. Yeah, chat, let's, let's head back up to the base. Otherwise, we're gonna be in some oops trouble. It's nighttime again. I might die here.
stopped one from stealing my orb, then another one swooped in and stole it when I was fighting the other one. Mm, that's how it goes. Yeah, didn't help that. The one who swooped in was another prot paladin, and it was a blood death that I was fighting. So of course, neither of us would die. Man, finding that lantern is pretty nice. Alright, I'm changing Discord so I can talk to Flawless since he's playing this game. Under the guild Discord? Uh, yeah. Hey, hey boss, hanging in there over there. It's surviving. Wait, we surviving. I need firewood now though. Probably. It's very dark. Uh, do you have any peat near you? I I just used mine up. Uh, okay. I forgot I had a stack of firewood outside, so it's a good thing I have that. That's a good thing. I killed some cows, so I have meat. So I'm not dying from starvation anymore. Just don't burn it all down like Uthrus did. Guy, you already did that. <laughs> I started three small fires, and literally, <laughs> the the map has a crater for me now. Like, it, it caught a peat field on fire, it just, oh, like, no. burned like a coal field. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. Like, I was, like, literally 20 minutes earlier, I was like, oh, there's peat, that's great, I can use that instead of firewood. And then, like, I'm like, man, all this tall grass is really annoying. Let me just light it on fire and burn it out like a mm -hmm. burst fire. And then it spread to the peat. And it, was, it, <laughs> it went up real quick. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I was um, firing one of the, uh, the the cooking pot too close to my house. I didn't appreciate that. It just burned my house down. Oh. That is just rude. Thankfully, it's very small and uh, was very easy to rebuild. That's good. I think my mining escapades might be done. Oh, the horde finally caught up to you? <laughs> well, I stopped a warlock from mining it, not realizing he was being followed around by Hunter as his personal bodyguard. That's horde do. And I still got five stacks, so it's a good start. I need. It's a lot of stack. Well, I need 1600 ore to max up life, I think. Doof. That's not including the probably 200 titanium bars I need. No, that's just one or two. Yeah, sure that's the cobble. The game's on. Oh, I think it's done. I can restart my game. Uh, at some point, Flawless, I'm gonna need a defense enchant to chest. Uh huh. You get your uh your emblem for it. I got my yeah, I got my tier chest, but nice. I'm having to do some hybrid stam defense gems to try and make up the difference because I lost what eight rating when I changed up my chest pieces. Oh yeah. Now, I'll gain some of it back when I get the gloves, but is this wild chat or vintage story chat? I'm confused. Both. It's both now. Okay. Do you know it's Woutage Story? I mean, you know, my, my stream's here for Vintage Story, not necessarily to talk about a raid mechanic and setup. Ah, I'm starving again. So, so I get, I get reduction to animal harvesting and so like i kill i kill one animal it's like one meat <laughs> i'm like okay well not really worth it you just oh, need to let the you just need to burn down your surroundings to let the fire kill it for you yeah you i already harvested point. all the stuff wow well, so 2005 all about the vendor story here true actually it's some, wrath so it's 2008 some drifters outside my house i don't like it that's no, just jeff he's fine okay well jeff's a little creepy jeff is a little well you know he's his own he's his own guy there's a few Jeffs out there. 
I'm trying to break down my door. Leave. Be gone, demon. Death meat should be a thing. Uh, I feel like there's a mod for that. Could be wrong. Maybe you can help me decide what to eat. Pizza Probably not. Food. See, I'm not a big fan of Chinese food. Really? So it's pizza. I've had oh, too many oh. bad experiences. Oh, with Chinese? Yeah. Hmm. Going to the wrong place? Probably. I mean, I don't eat out a lot to begin with, so... I mean, I try not to, but at the same time, the grocery store is like a 20 minute walk. Ow, you freaking dick. I'm very lazy. Stop throwing rocks at me, why? <laughs> yeah, you fight it with a knife. Well, like, Get like I also do 20% less damage. <laughs> So like I'm a, I'm a laborer. <laughs> I need a mercenary over here. Well, I'm busy trying not to die inside my little wooden hut. Like I tried uh, uh, throwing spears at stuff, and like I got pretty close to it, and it just like went off by forty degrees to the left. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, well, <laughs> that's going nowhere. I see you're throwing rocks at them. Yeah. It's payback. Well, it does one damage, so... You know, with enough rocks... <laughs> Throw enough I, rocks at them. I, I, you know, I get them to run, and then I backstab them. Right? I'm like a Defias Pillager. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker turned around, you 180'd it. Ah, there's more. Like, I'm trying so hard to kill them just so I can get, like, a spawn thing, and they just aren't dropping any. I've killed, like, 20. It's it's going real rough. Yeah, me and Cam, I mean, me and Cam killed, like, three or four of them and didn't get anything off of them, so... I mean, not even like rope. Like you got literally I know, nothing. No, we got literally nothing. Oof. I'm doing you dirty right now. Hello. Hey. Hello. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that game next week when I okay. actually have the money for it. It looks pretty interesting. I'll look at the trailer. It's pretty cool. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's pretty great. Can I tame bears? Uh, uh, bears will rip you limb from limb. Uh, you can cage them, maybe, and trap them and throw your enemies to them, but I don't think you will be able to tame them. Watch out, possum. You're going to get it. <laughs> I've already been killed by two bears. That's enough. I've had enough. Fucking stop bears. throwing rocks at me. I have 8 HP. Uh... What's throwing rocks at you? Uh, the enemies in this game, on the surface. Uh, if they- it doesn't do, like, hardly any damage, it's just- I'm- I have nothing, so-, so <laughs> I'm <laughs> suffering out here. Why don't you make yourself some thatch clothing? I don't even think that's a thing. I wasn't expecting the whole box thing. I'm like, okay, that's that's weird. This looks kind of cool. There's a little box figures. Box thing? What box thing? Well, on the on the the YouTube video that I watched, it was your character is like box. It's like 
your head's boxed. Your, your body's boxed. The bears are boxed. Yeah, it's all like Minecraft-ish. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, you gotta buy grass? It's weird. But it looks pretty cool, so. Yeah, but on Atlas, I went up against an alpha bear. And I was like, yeah, I can take this thing. Nope. One hit, killed me, killed the bear. Yeah, nope. <laughs> It's on like a farter server, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Y'all have a good night. All right. Yep. Soup. direction haven't I run into trying to find food? I need to find more food. Is there no more dead animals for you to loot? Uh, no. And also, I just don't get enough from the dead animals. I get more from harvesting like 20% more so like I might need to just start bringing clippings of bearing berry bushes back and planting up around my area until you burn it down well you know that's not gonna happen now because it's already happened once um, not gonna happen again uh -huh. gonna learn from his mistakes famous last words we here at Uthris Co Okay, we know what we're doing. Do you? Yep, 110%. 99% sure. I also need to find some horsetail to make like a healing thing. But I don't really have the right forested area for that. to a barrel wolf right now I'm gonna cry so I see uh, Cam died a couple times I'm assuming he's just like I'm gonna wait until you have a base <laughs> no, you have to go to work I think oh, okay oh but fuck yeah. me <laughs> god damn it <laughs> as soon as I say that <laughs> Comes out of nowhere. That's what happened to me. I was just running around, just insta killed by a wolf. Oh no, 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 no. First death confirmed. Right, well, that's pretty good for your first death. Start a death counter. Well, like, again, it's gonna take me two days to run back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a long ways away. Uh, if if I do if I run the whole way and don't stop, I might be able to do it. In one, but like, problem with sprinting takes more food, so I need to Did gather more. Did your corpse ever despawn, or does it just forever stay there till you get it? All your stuff will eventually despawn. Yes. But hurry. I think it's like a ten. 15 minute window or so. Did you not set a new respawn point? Uh, I didn't loot an item to let me do that. You can't just, like, crap the bed or something? No. I have to kill the drifter things, and they drop a gear, and then I have to do a blood sacrifice, and then that lets me set the spawn. And it's only usable for one time. And then I have to do another sacrifice using that. Uh, that's some hardcore settings. Uh, yeah. 
I mean, the last time I played, it was set to infinite, and it just felt like what would happen is... What happens in these type of games with, like, survival games is once you have your base, you just kind of almost die to reset your character rather than care about your eating and drinking. And so I wanted death to be a little bit more harsh. Yeah. No, this doesn't bother me at all. This is great. This is exactly what I want. And as I get gear, it'll happen less and less, right? Because I'm just, I'll have some armor. I'll have a weapon. Maybe a shield. Okay, I'm not going the same route that I did last time. Oh, okay. Rock slide. That's fine. Oh, yeah. So are these, these Jeffs going to leave me alone eventually? Or... I'm, okay. So, so I just picked up a pink bonnet mushroom. It's 80 saturation minus 10 HP. I have 8 HP. <laughs> I will die if I hmm. eat that. Hmm. Maybe the next time I see a wolf, I should just munch on it real quick. I feel like I'm going to have to kill these Jeffs now. I don't think I have a choice. They are not leaving. Do you have spears? I have spears, yes. Okay, that's good at least. I have to break my way out. We've got a secondary entrance. That's good, always have two, two exits. I realize I don't have an axe. That's problematic. Uh, is that like your main weapon of choice right now? Uh, it's uh, well, my walls are uh, wood, so. Oh. Like logs? Yes. Oh. Well, I mean, you know, that's one way to build a base in this game. It's the panic base. That's why my other one burnt down because it was wood. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jim, we finally have fire. Oh. House of Wood. Now we have a big fire, Jim. Why not build underground? Uh, soil collapses? Yes. So you can't make like a dirt hut. You can't make a sand or gravel hut. Um, if you find a cave, you can kind of wall off sections of the cave and potentially like have like a little cave shelter. Sure, that's an option. Um, but you won't have a pickaxe until you at least have copper, so you can't dig through stone very well. Green cracked Rasula. This is bad. Oh, I live. I lived. 0.7 HP. That'll have to do. Yes, mushrooms. Like mountain goading like a boss. So you guys still in the south? Yep. Basically just me at this point. Was Hunter dying trying to reach you guys earlier? Uh yeah. Somewhat. Oh god. Right. <sighs> well at least I know where I died. That's good. That's good. I died uh, basically inside my place, so. If you have PvP enabled on that server, is it just what everyone versus Ethos? Uh, well, it doesn't have to be that, but it, I guess it, <laughs> it could be. It could be that. I mean, you know, if they really want to go hard. I'm gonna gather clippings for this. I'm gonna try and bring berry clippings to the base chat. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, we need a, we need more berries. I just need to nap burn them down this time, and we'll 
will be will be golden. Even if we're going over versus Youth and Dogen has a chance to get to Taka plus five melee hand weapon, that is true. Taco perk build. Oh shoot, I just realized. All my bags are on my corpse too. Yeah. What was the problem with my first death? That. It'll be fine. I hope. So, like, my first day traveling around Palace, I came across, like, a, a ruined fort. So, I kind of supplied that for a little bit. And then the nice. next day, I, like, kind of left some supplies there and carried on. And then I got to my base location and realized, oh yeah, I left all the food. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Because I was like, oh, I can definitely find more food. No. Nope. No. I'm Start basically living works. on like an Irish Scottish cliff face facing the sea and it's really windy. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's nothing there. Sweet back to this game. Yeah, boy. Fresh save, fresh experience, fresh deaths. All the time. Trying to run back to a base now. We're trying to establish a base. It's, uh... Hmm. Besides the forest fire that we started and our first death that just happened, it's been going okay. Uh, we're going to have to start worrying about pottery soon. Because... I need, I need to get metal. But like half the food I get is from on the way back from dying. Yeah, you just run <laughs> into like different berry bushes. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, like, if you die often enough, eventually they won't be there. <laughs> yeah. And then you're just gonna be like, oh. Sad you missed the forest fire. Uh, I mean, you're gonna go back in the stream a little bit. We kind of lit a pit, a peat field on fire. So there's kind of a crater. Because a bunch of the ground literally burst into flames. Oh no, a fucking bear. Oh yeah, bears are great. It's gonna get you. Alright, I'm just now reaching Fort Outpost. I wonder <laughs> if I should stay here for the day. Probably a good idea. What about your corpse? <sighs> That's a bear. Let's not go that way. Are you getting your quirks more important? Um. You gotta get all your stuff. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, maybe I'll grab my spears from here and carry them to the base at least. I don't like how close this bear is to my uh, base here. It's concerning. I believe that since they were doing your first season of this, noticing some new things, did they do some major updates? Um, so this playthrough, we're actually doing modded. Uh, so I downloaded some mods. I'm also, um, I'm renting a 40 slot server, so if you guys are a member of the channel and part of our Discord, there's actually server information if you guys want to join the server and play and make your own kind of base and stuff. Um, so between the mods and they did patch the game, so they did add a couple things. Um, there's definitely enough different, yeah. We also have 30 day months now instead of 9 day months. Um, but since the server's up 24 7, um, one real day is one month essentially. 
so it doesn't progress too too quickly if I don't have like time that day to play. Um, you know, stuff like that. Also, realistic growth times for a lot more crops. So, like, carrots take, like, 90 days to grow. Rather than, like, four. What happens to everyone's stuff while they're AFK? Your character disappears. So, whatever's on your character goes with you when you log off. Um, now, your... Um... Why am I going this way? This is, like, so inefficient. But your chests and everything will still be there. And someone can raid your chests. Um, PvP is turned on. Now, of course, I'm at a disadvantage because, well, everything you guys are seeing, you can see my coordinates all the time. But our community doesn't really grief, as far as I'm aware. Watch you just get stuck in the mountains. <laughs> uh, well, I'm climbing. There's glacier ice up here, okay? It's getting a little chilly. Jeez. Oh, a little high up there, eh? Yeah. Getting there. Like, the snow ha or the trees have snow on them. You're taking a roundabout way to get back, aren't you? Yeah, well, I didn't think about this giant hill in the way, and also there's bears. But you have a spear. Uh. Bear don't care about spear. <laughs> not only would I not be able to hit the bear, because my accuracy due to my class is so bad, uh, it would also do 20% less damage. So like, how much- i you didn't look at your class and say, I'm gonna reroll. Huh? I chose this class on purpose. Oof. I wanted this class. Cause, cause it gets extra mining perks. So you're thinking of the late game. A little bit, yeah. Where I was playing well, this mountain, the mountain which just constantly game. collapsing over the course of like 20 in-game days, yeah. Bear. 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 I saw... Oh man, I'm sprinting through these woods, and like I'm hearing wolves, I'm seeing a bear out of the corner of my eye, and I just have like... A nanosecond to adjust course. Oh no, I hear a baby wolf. There's gonna be a mom wolf. Flawless, just watch. He's gonna get back to his corpse. And the wolf that ate him is going to be corpse camping. Okay, guaranteed. That's why I'm bringing two spears, so that, again, I can miss and die. I mean, if you do it often enough, you'll eventually kill it. Between the 30 minute run to get back. <laughs> I'm still, I'm, I'm about uh, 2,000 blocks away still. Doof. It sucks, like, I found a, uh, in one of the ruins, I found a lantern, which is, like, a permanent light source. That's, like, really bright. And, of course, I was carrying that around. Yeah, of course, yeah. Oh, look, another goddamn bear! I mean, if you're gonna sit there and steal his berries, he's gonna come after you. Oh, food's on the way. Yo, you can get out of here. AFK, gotta get my chinese. Improvised body armor. Oh, I might get that. I had it at one point, but I died and I lost it, so I haven't built another one, or made another one. How effective was it? Uh, that's a good question. I wasn't paying attention. 
Good question. I still a... died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was busy dying to a bear, so it's kind of hard to tell the effect of this. It still killed me. Well, so um, there's tier, so um, a tier 2 armor will block more from a tier 2 enemy than a tier 1 armor can. Yeah, that makes sense. And sadly, just about every animal uh, bigger than a fox <laughs> is a tier, tier 2. Tier 2. Or above. Now, drifters, like the little surface ones that come out at night, those I think might be tier 1. Almost back to my base. I technically already passed my corpse, but I kind of want to go to the base first. So I have stuff to drop off. More storage. Have you collected any clay yet, or are you still just trying to? I got, I got clay, yeah. Have you oh, run the uh, not yet. Oh shit. I forgot I had to change my mark for my house. I've been going the wrong way. Ooh, what is this? It's a... Uh, apple tree. Huh. And a wolf. And a wolf. I and another wolf. <laughs> hmm. It was literally sleeping on the floor and I walked on its tail. <laughs> a raccoon. Fuckers steal berries, kill them. Maybe I will get on my corpse first. Oh, kind of blows. Oh, found some more peat. Maybe I should light that on fire. <laughs> See what happens. Yeah. An experiment. Yep. yep. Pretty sure this is where I dine. There's a wolf there. That's probably accurate. Watch the raccoon cause a landslide. <laughs> yes, delicious bush meat. Stuff. 
Because I think I was running towards the light there. Because it was nighttime. I wanted to get to the traders. Oh, you know what? The wolf is sleeping on my goddamn corpse. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna aggro it and then run to the water. Here, Wolfie. That's it. It's okay. I got most of the stuff back. I got the lantern. Let's be honest, that's the only thing I care about. It's the only important thing. Now I'm wet and too cold. I don't have inventory to grab that. Welcome back. <sighs> I, I need to make a cooking pot, or not a cooking pot, but like a something to put on a fire because making meals is just way more food efficient y'all just two protein two berries mm -hmm. hey my building's still here it's not burned down that's always good Floating bushes in the area now. So t two weeks in game, and I'll have uh, 16 berry bushes around my base. Huh. That's good. Yeah, yeah. I planted mine a while ago, so <laughs> like one of them's flowering. Do you have a bed yet? Oh. Do you know how to make one? Yes, I do. I don't have what I need for it though, because I need rope. You don't need rope. Do I not? Do I need, need, need to make cables? Or is it just straw? Is it just the straw mats? So it's just the straw mats. Oh, Three straw okay. mats. It took me a while to figure out how to make those.
in the back. Oh, joy. So you got your corpse back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, super easy. No, no trouble whatsoever. I like this new mechanic of leaning things against walls. What about me? The harrowing adventures of Uthos. Yeah. A glorious leader that has half a roof to a cobblestone hut. That's all you existence. I mean, that's better than mine, so. I looked out and found this copper uh, scythe, too. It's pretty nice. Always Is search. Your wall at least big enough to keep the wolves out? Nope. Not big enough to keep anything out. I need to put the roof on before it's actually kind of sealed. And even then, since the windows don't have like anything blocking it, the drifters can just throw rocks at me. <laughs> While you're trying to sleep. Yeah. That's hilarious. Oh, I thought that ram was a wolf. I flash before my eyes. Who's playing with oh, me? Oh god, that's a bear. That's uh, a bear. <laughs> so, Silent Knight, which is obviously from our community, is that playing with us? He's just here talking about WoW. And then, uh, Flawless, this is actually someone from our WoW guild. Um, so, I invited some people over there too, just to fill in more slots, because it's a pretty big server, so more people is fine. More people is fine. Oh, you know, it's fine enough. I mean, what's everyone doing? Is everyone just still playing WoW right now? I, I don't know what everyone's doing. Cam's at work. The only ones online is me, Orc, and Aya. Oh, it's getting dark. Man. I just got up at nighttime. That's a clownberry. Dude, those are great! Oh. I want more of you. Well, there's okay, a mount well, just falling down. It's gone now. It's over. Didn't even produce a seed, just gave me great food and then disappeared. How's it going, Taro? Hope you're doing well, man. Time to run for safety. You say Cloudberry and I got nightmares of the plane biome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all. That was a yeah, good time. I bet you don't get to the Cloud District very often either. And just story pog, true. Not in a couple of years, anyways. Is this where the bear was? No, it wasn't. Okay, good. The bear is my neighbor now. Well, you know, 
There are going to be worse neighbors to have. All the drama is mainly over. Finally, getting back to playing games again. That's good, dude. I don't know if you have Vintage Story, but since we are hosting the server for members and stuff, always welcome to play. Cattails. Uh huh. That's why I went out again and then it started getting dark. Cycle have an actual like east to west progression, or is it just kind of suns up, suns down? Uh, it actually moves across the sky correctly. And your day night cycle, depending on if you're kind of equatorial or northern, your day night cycle is longer or shorter. Pretty sure that's a thing. Because unlike Minecraft, it's not an infinite world, it's, it's a little bit more fixed, but it's still like a million by a million. Starter, lean that against the wall. Okay. Um, I need to preemptively make a bunch of spears. All right, it's evening in spear making mode, man. I'm just hearing rock slides off in the distance. <laughs> I'm just like, what is like going on? It's those squirrels, man. It's certain squirrels in this game, so it's the raccoons. Yeah, you're perfect, right? Fucking raccoons. I definitely saw one call as a landslide. That'd be so funny if you were like carelessly perched on like a cliff face with your base and then a raccoon causes a landslide and buries half of it. <laughs> Alright, got a fair amount of Spears are gonna go down to the water. Pick up more what I need. Uh, let's set this to just trim. I don't wanna get rid of the grass, I just want to cut the dry grass portions off. You're behind? Oh no, you're good. Seems like that seems to be common for you. All right, that's enough grass. Let's go get some reeds. Up 
continue making progress on the roof. And then the roof will be done. We'll be a little bit more secure. Do you have that bed made? Uh, no. Alright, because we could have slept both through night. Doing well. How's my day going so far? It's going pretty good. I need, um, the reeds or whatever, so. You're just hunkering down in your mouth right now? Yeah, I'm getting my uh, pit kill and going. Oh, on my storage nice. vessel. Or some of my cooked food. And instantly go bad. Uh, you can maybe dig a little pit and store it in there. So the vessel in the pit will last longer, I think. It's like actually okay. underground a bit. Like, I just finished replacing my floor of my house with uh, some cobblestone, so I'm gonna be digging underneath a bit to make like a cellar. A little bit. That's a good idea. I think there's a ruin near me I can steal some from. That's broadly four. Uh, just seed oil. to the base. Which at least has a permanent light source with that lantern on it. And I think it's going to look surprisingly nice considering it's built from a ruin. Strong mats can be used as flooring. That's kind of cool. Alright, so cellar side. Um, I guess it can actually just be an entrance from back here, right? essentially what we need.
like a little too far there. Let's just change course a little bit. Crappy door. Three sticks, two logs. Shovel, I need an axe. Uh, also, I am almost out of food again. Let's go somewhere kind of newish. Maybe there's some new berry bushes like out, way out this way. I haven't really harvested yet, so we'll try there. Look at all this fire clay. Wow. Place your bets now, team. See if Uthris is actually gonna live through the night. How many uh, kilns are you running? Got two so okay. far. Say yeah, I will. Well, we'll see if that comes true or if I run into uh, some wolves first. All right, I need some logs for that door and also in general. So we'll cut one of these down. Because I will need some storage vessels here soon myself so I can start storing some food. Um, and then when I'm not just running around trying to survive, I can actually start potentially laying out the farmland as soon as possible, because that's going to take days and days before that's actually getting anywhere. Alright, so that's enough lumber for now. Pelagos over here. Ooh, black Quran. Nom 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 nom. I like the new berry bush textures. They're very floofy. Berry shrub. Much leaf. Or less square. I also really like the new wind mechanics too. Flawless, what's your opinion on like how things kind of move in the wind and stuff? That's something they recently changed, and I think it looks pretty good. So. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I've seen anything weird. Nothing like caught my eye or anything, so it all looks pretty good in my opinion. Although like, where I am isn't very windy, so it's oh. pretty calm. Over <laughs> here, man. <laughs> Ground 
coal. I don't really care. Seeds? We can always go for more seeds. Uh, any stairs here? I'm gonna bring stairs back because I need that for the roof. And also for the cellar, we need we need stairs to get down there. Maybe these two will be the stairs in the cellar then. Can't wait till we're chiseling again, chat. It's all chisel all the time. kind of bright enough now uh, foods looking okay we're almost full let's just run around a little bit more see if we can get any extra food oh man what are we gonna do when it gets winter we don't have berry bushes Starved to death repeatedly. It's gonna be great. So I now have a bed, just in time for it to not be night. Okay, well, hey, you're prepared for the next one. Hopefully, I'm near my bed when it's time to use it. <laughs> Very good, very good. Knife, knife. Uh, let's get some more reeds going for more roof as well. So we'll harvest some reeds. I think if I can make it through this day, my house will have a cellar and a roof on it and sealed in, so it's actually safe. And then, and then I'll go out and look for some clay. Start actually firing stuff. Stick for shelves. Okay, we need metal. one nice thing about being on the move um, kind of in the evenings and night is you kind of stay away from stuff spawning around here. <sighs> oh dude that's a massive tree. That's a two by two tree. It's charcoal. Mm, think about all the charcoal I can make that into. Did you ever get to the blacksmith phase? Or were you just in the- I got to copper, and that was kind of it. Okay. I, I made the copper pickaxe, I mined some copper, and I eventually made some other things with it, but I didn't get much further than that. same as the park basket so hmm. 
All right, let's head back up to the base. Go from there. It's a dead chicken, that's fine, normal day. Hope they snap the plague. Farmland. I feel like this valley used to be a little bit prettier when there was actually grass and bushes around. But <laughs> it's just... Yeah, there's nothing there now. It looks yeah. kind of gross. It's just. Oh, that's a bear! Where'd it come from? Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> Jesus. Oh. <laughs> I mean, what do you, you mean? You did kind of say you had a bear neighbor. Yeah, this is a different bear, though. This is the third bear I found. But what do you mean? That sounds unbearable. <laughs> uh, that's unbearable. I was minding my business, getting some stone bricks. I was booped on the head and dead. Booped on the head and dead. And it didn't make any sound until it attacked me. <laughs> it's too sneaky. It shouldn't be allowed. Something that big shouldn't be that quiet. You should ban it. Yes, ban all the bears. We don't need them. Twenty more thatch roofing. Awesome. <laughs> this, this fucking house. <laughs> it's all right. It's got character. It's got something. Maybe an STD. Roofing? What is that? Cellar. It's there. Actually, this this section needs to be thatched. Other section that gets the, uh, the good old roof treatment. Let's 
just glad I don't have to run as far as you do. Well, you know, it's an incentive for me to not die. <laughs> I didn't try to get killed by a grizzly bear, okay? I mean, you're from Aldford, so... It's kind of expected. You kinda did. Black bear. As they are. What's a rough fence? Because I'm going to use that as a... Uh... My windows, I think, for now. Where's my axes? I can still hear the bear. Not good. Oh, it's in there. Okay. Oh, what if I could trap it? Ugh. All right, we we officially safe, boys. Might have trapped the bear. I hope. Well, I don't know. Trap it and throw enough spears at it to uh, send it into like the, the twilight zone or something. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> what? You're a mercenary class. You're supposed to be fighting things. Fight. Yeah, it's a bear. Here we go. One. You can do it. I mean, if it can't reach you, you should be fine. It's not throwing rocks like Jeffries do. hitting me so this is fine those are also new mobs how much meat drops from that oh I fell in the hole All right, that's not good <laughs> <laughs> it was going so well for about mm, five seconds All right, house is secure, so that means we now need. Did I just meow? Okay. Uh, we now need a uh, pick. Yeah, yeah. Here, one sec over here, there. So we're gonna do four vessels. Kind of cover the four food groups. There's four, right? Fruit, vegetable, grain, protein, essentially. We we're not gonna have dairy for a long while. Uh, this is where Crucible's gonna go. clay forming to do. Uh, we need to grab a shovel so we can find some to harvest some clay. Alright, so clay on your map actually will show up 
almost like a different color. So this one's brown. This one's a little lighter, so I think this is normal clay down there. So we're gonna use normal clay. I don't know fire clay, fire clay can be formed. Fire clay can be formed into anything, Perfect. but it also can be used for um, other specific items. So we're gonna try and save the fire clay as much as possible. So I'm gonna go actually start my clay. So I think you're ahead of me in tech right now, right? Essentially. All right, so we got blue clay. So my dog kept getting pissed off at something in the uh, the backyard. So I went out there and there's a raccoon hanging out there, so I brought the dog back in. I went back out to go see the raccoon, and it was just standing there, so I tossed a rock at it, and then it started heading, walking towards me. <laughs> Do that. It's like, that raccoon uh, don't give no fuck. He gives no fucks. He's like, oh, you want some rabies? <laughs> okay. Sure, we can play that game. <laughs> Humming. Humming. <sighs> uh, I can't believe I fell in that stupid hole. The bear. All my shit's in there too now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I, I should make have laughed out. I just hear a wolf. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, I think. Oh, what is that? Is that an ore? It's lead. Fuck. It's not <laughs> used for anything yet. Lead chain? Be used for nothing or something? Actually, uh, there's leaded glass panes. Uh, there's some glazes that we can make. There's some musket cartridges, balls, bullets for lead. Uh, that's really it. It so, is something. Some very specialty decor stuff and ammunition. Hey, you know, if there's lead here, I can be Iron Town, just like Prince in Princess Mononoke. Be a good time. Defend from the bears. I need a lot of guns to defend against the bear tribe. Bear tribe strong. Bear tribe's very strong. All right, chat. Time to show you guys what clay forming looks like for those few of you in number, yet. but strong in arm. Four large vessels, all the clay. Here am I making one. Hmm. And here am I. Here I am making one. Well, yeah. If I'm gonna do a firing, I want to fire a lot. Like in my single players. Have you ever seen my vendor story single player save? I haven't. No. So like, I have a dragon kiln, which is uh, what what. So it's it's like a traditional Chinese kiln. Huh. Um, it's made to look like one. It doesn't actually function like one. But essentially, yeah. it's it's it was twenty four kiln slots, just like Jeez. you know. And I did one full firing, I think, a couple times, like making shingles. Uh, once you can make chests, kind of clay vessels or little. Though they are still better to store certain things in, food wise. So, yeah, chat. So, so, unlike napping, clay is additive, though you can also still carve out in certain areas depending on the recipe. So, we're gonna add the base of the vessel, nice and strong. We're gonna double it up using the good old copy function. Very easy. And then we're gonna start building the outside walls. And then we'll use the copy function. Do you, do you know about the copy function? The duplicate thing? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. It's uh, very nice when you're doing something like that. I'm just making sure because I feel like not many people know to use it for just like these large vessels like this. <laughs> a very big pain not to. Mm -hmm. Alright, it's gonna be round three with the bear. All right. Might kill this time. Ain't nothing has a lot of HP then. Yeah, I it mean I used like, like a full spear on it, so I was able to just like hit it with the spear without having to throw him. Copied too much there, so... Yeah, it's also a grizzly bear. And it's up. extra tough. I think they're eventually going to add, like, a pottery wheel tech. Or someone is going to mod That'll it That'll be in. weird. Well, basically it'll be, like, hold left click and it just kind of Builds the pattern mm -hmm. quicker. First vessel's done. Oh boy, I forgot how much clay that takes. Got a nod fall in the hole this time. Ooh. All right, chat. We have spears. Um, we need to cook some food. Um, it needs to be done. There are some cows down here, and while hunting isn't the best way for my character to do much in... I killed it, huzzah! I don't want to attack a bull. I'd rather attack... the female. But... Alright, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna aggro the ram. Okay, ram. Come on, ram. You. Oh, fuck. He's baiting me. Come on. Get in here. Get in the water. You're slow here. This is my turf. Oh, you. No! My character's so weak! Did you almost lose to a sheep? Dude, it headbutted me once, I'm at 5% <laughs> HP! And it was a ram, thank you, not a sheep? Hmm. Fighting, fighting things in water is the only way my guy's gonna be able to kill anything. <laughs> but the transition to from like me baiting them into the water to where like they're actually going into it is super like sketch. It's like, yeah, I thought I was gonna die. That was uh. That's what you almost did. Hey man, I got nine pieces of meat up for this. <laughs> Maximum effort. I'm just gonna stay in my house. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> stay in your house for a minute. Get some health back. 
You want to trip and fall and die. Pot. Maybe I'll start with just two storage vessels. One for protein and then the rest for uh, grains and vegetables and fruit together. Uh, baskets are you using right now? Are you using wicker baskets or the bark baskets? Uh, for like general storage. General storage, yeah, the uh, bark ones right now. A few of those bad boys. I'm at 13 hit points total. We're gonna go ahead and pre-fire these because these are just ready to go. some soil into this pit because eventually I need to fill it back in. sticks with any of these mods that I have yet. Came from breaking layer of sticks, maple leaves, ingredient four. Guess not yet. Uh, do we get any mushrooms growing in this area? That'd be great.
if we could get like uh, protein, berries, and mushrooms, and meals, all three, just a good balanced kind of food item. I mean, eventually this is where our base is kind of going to be going. So we get this view. But uh, it's going to be a little while until we're, we're to that point, I'd say. Gotta survive first. I don't know what to do about this lake here. Honestly, it's a little concerning. It's just like an empty lake. Is it? Okay, there is a bottom. I thought I went down to a cave. At least the wind is super consistent up here. Ooh, a merchant. What do we got? What's he's, what's, what's just sailing, champ? Leo? Treasure chest, merchant pants. You're not really selling anything good. Just an FYI, merchants I think change their stocks over time. Kind of rotate through, I think, once a week. I think I've only ever seen one. One merchant? Yeah. No. Oh. They're kind of easy to spot because the map, like, kind of shows them before you usually see them. Okay. Ruins are kind of the same thing. First two vessels lit up. Oh, I'm running blind. I was wondering where my cook pot was, but it was inside my fire. In like the uh, uh oh yeah fuel spot starts a fuel spot. Like where to go? to get a uh, emperor gear yet? Nope. It's not off the ones I uh, the ones I killed. So I'm hoping. So like, there's a couple uh, teleporters near me. Um, kind of hoping one of them kind of connects down south towards another one that I found. So that we can just, well, I can just spawn and run to the teleporter and then get like 80% get of the way here, you know? <laughs> That'd be pretty nice. That'd be nice. Uh, let's do rocks, I guess.
All right, if we can get four build crocs, that'd be pretty good for us, food-wise. It's gonna take some effort, but it's gonna be worth it. thing too about running your uh, kiln is it kind of provides light around your base. Yeah, mine's kind of off behind. Oh, it's done. Nice. Take a wink. going I am almost out of clay so we got crocs now I need bowls Oh. Hey, do you want to sleep? Uh, hold on. There's a Jeffrey throwing a rock at my house. No, that's All right. Weird. Let me try now. Let's see. I am laying down. Um, I had to wake up. I have no food. I'm out of food now as well. <laughs> okay. Um. Shit, 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 shit. Store that. Let's go. Oh my god, I have like three wrists over here. There's like 80 Jeffries. Oh. <laughs> Gotta get out of here. I am very safe. I was safe in my house, but I gotta... I gotta find food! What's up, cat mint is nat flower. Ah, licorice. Basically gives me nothing, but I'm not gonna die.
this back of seeds. Fine. I got to full. We'll swing over, get some more clay, I think. This thing about sleeping too is it progresses your kiln. Because it's all just time based. <clears throat> Broke that, that's good. Um, I need to get. Do, 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 do. Let's get rid of that. Those. This at the moment. Um. some hunter backpacks. Alright, any more sticks? But also potentially more wood so I can make some more just base storage containers. seeds yet? Yeah, I get a few. I normally just plant them down right away. I 
think I have like three. Like the bear fur I got, like the icon for it's just a little bear. It looks ridiculous. Well, you got a bear hide? Yeah, I killed the bear. Oh, I thought you were still trying to fight that bear. And, no, I killed it. Thankfully. Well, you did have it trapped. Yeah, it was pretty easy after that. Animal abuser. Yeah, it attacked me first. Self-defense. Finally updated my marker for home, so I always knows where it is. It's kind of important. Eh, is it? To seeds? I can. These, these are good. Yes, please. Okay. Cool. Some cloud berries. Bring those back. I'm gonna have a nice little uh, berry garden. plant some crops uh i don't think i even have any how many seeds no i don't i don't think i do i think i lost i got a couple but they got lost in the, the fire oh <laughs> the fire <laughs> <laughs> rough year man it's a tough time yeah they got lost in the fire breaking every time I use it. Yeah, I use gates. The rough gates, because they don't do that. Okay. Keep grass away from my pet kilns, so my pet kilns don't start fire apocalypse 2.0. There you go. Can't have that. Get a new ads head. Give me some more base storage.
right, so I got three pits left for kilns. Uh, blacksmith or pickaxe. Prospector pick. mold I guess yeah Prospector pick mold done. Let's get the pickaxe mold. Some more storage. Okay, uh, store seeds here. We can store extra clay here, I guess. Might have it's one point, but not anymore. I guess for now I can just use it for fuel on the fire. Which is honestly really good. Dude, the bark is good for fuel for your fire. Like, if you have enough of it, I mean, mm -hmm. each piece only has to last eight seconds, but, you know, you, once you get it up to temperature, you just have to maintain. Which isn't too bad. Lord, I need to go potentially hunt again. I just got back to full HP. Super excited to take a single attack and die. Let's do this.
I, I love the stacking mechanics in this game. Like stacking firewood and like ore and ingots and stuff. Yeah, physically stacking is great. It's not like space efficient compared to like just throwing them in a chest, but why would you? Exactly. I want to be able to make like a, a woodshed, you know? Please run away from it's me. It's cool having everything physically. Are you? <sighs> I was four blocks away from that cow throw my spear and it could just go sailing over its face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, stop! one's animal chest is it this one it's supposed to be that one so let's clear that out hide goes in there as well i wonder i had more hide i need to kill small things so i can get the hunter's backpack actually Uh, let's go find small animals to get like small hides like this rabbit. Oh my god, it's so fast. I Just realized I'm not gonna be able to kill a rabbit You're not gonna be able to hit it with a spear. Yeah. Oh, I drilled it. Oh What? Yeah, it didn't die <laughs> But I hit it once I mean that's pretty good all things considered Oh, it's not going to happen again. God, they just run and run and run. Ah! <laughs> just it off a cliff! <laughs> that killed it, oh my god. How did that work? It's crushed. Won't get as much from this carcass. Fuck you, game! <laughs> Why do this to me? Come on, I'm just a lonely <laughs> forager, man. Look at that fucking... <laughs> I bet it's already dead, too. God. Yeah. Chase this one off the cliff, too, I guess. I just need, like, small hides. Um, and animal fat, and then boom, you get yourself some uh, hunter backpacks. Four of those, four extra slots. Oh, look, a seat. Or pine tree, yay. They exist. I swear. Pine trees? Yeah, seeds for them. Maybe rabbits don't give small hide. Actually, wait, they have to give small hide because, like, is it just my harvesting skill being so bad? Do oh well, we got some more meat. Meat's fine. Uh, bone knife, 
recurve bow, bone helmet. There's a bone helmet. Who has the bone right trait? What class is that? Me, I don't have it. Maybe it's Hunter or something like that. storage vessels are done. God, door. Small hides of rabbit, fox, raccoon, sheep, good enough, thanks. All right, cellar has vessels. I can store meat down there now, and vegetables and stuff. Let's see, in the air, 1.1 days of freshness. And the vessel. 3.8 days. It's not bad, but we could, you know. Don't you. All right, what do we have here? These uh, Crocs? Wine can make oh, sales. Linen sack. One flax, one wax linen. Oh man, I need bees. find a wild hive excellent and then you have to build like you gotta like make sure they have flowers and then build a beehive next to them and then they're going to migrate to your beehive and so, so. 
Now that's the old way. I did download a mod for, it's called like Golden Combs, and it does add things to the beekeeping. Okay. So, honestly, I don't know <laughs> what it's going to end up looking <laughs> like. Be a surprise. A new adventure. Grab enough grass here for some more kiln work. And then we're gonna go down into the forested area, look for some mushrooms. So we can actually cook some food it in our crocs also we need to gather branches and stuff while we're down here Chicken of the woods. What's that do? 80 saturation. Good for 14 days. I need to go on like a mushroom picking spree because they can grow on the forested floor. So you can see how forest floor texture is different from just grass. So they, they really like forest floors and they can also just grow directly onto trees. Um, and Wildcraft does add, I think, additional variety of mushrooms. We do have that installed. What is that? Dead rooster. back some berries. I really want to bring back more mushrooms. Didn't I just see mushrooms? It was just the berry bush that I saw. I distracted with my torch going out. Find a good stable mushroom. This over this way is kind of rough, though. 
Where am I at? A lot of red Courant, which is good. What are these? Field mushrooms. That's good. What are these? having a good time to chat just chilling listening to the relaxing music Cranberry bushes. Back to our home, I'd say. Though we're kind of in the lowlands along the shore, so I don't know how easy it is to climb back up. Honestly, I've never been down on this side. So we may be getting a little lost. Are you, uh... Close to your bed. Yep. I am not. somewhere. You know, fertility soil. Um, FYI, I don't know if you did much farming in your initial playthrough at all, but um, Terra Petra, which is like a really dark soil, is like the best for farming. If you can't create it, you can only find it and try and bring it home. Oh, okay. I don't know if I've ever even seen it.
Um, usually the only way to find it is either you luck out when you're getting clay and you happen to run into it, or you're kind of running along and you see just a dark patch of soil on the side of a cliff. All that running and jumping really burned through our food, even though we harvested a bunch. Oh man, looks like we have a little ways to go. and stuff. Find a vendor first. Yeah, and most of the things cost like three plus gears too. That makes sense. Duh, of course. You end up finding a decent amount of that kind of stuff when you're um, um, actually going into caves and exploring because you end up killing a bunch of um, Jeffs like higher level Jeffs and they kind of drop those more often and then there's also like nests of gears and stuff that you can just harvest all right anvil mold uh it's gonna be this this guy clay goes with this luckily we only need one mold to make all the anvil types so 
Sounds good. Oh look, it's already daytime. Dang. It gets daytime at 3 a.m. Like, huh. Is it daytime for you? Yeah, it's it's getting there. Yeah. It's light enough I don't need a torch, so. We're just that far north? Those are still burning, that's fine. Um, let's head this way for more. Oh, I brought clippings back. Let's extend the garden a little bit. Try and make some food. Actually, no, I don't have the pot yet. Oh, darn pot is just killing me. Hey, a temporal space. Just gonna spawn another one. Come on, bunny. Oh my god. What a jerk. Yeah, don't get near these things, by the way. This is what happens. It kind of mm, starts to go a little crazy. Kind of hoping the there's not going to be another temporal storm anytime soon. I yeah, I really hope there isn't either. <laughs> not a fan. Because if there is, then I will literally just start running in a circle, like away from my base, and then come back to my base <laughs> after they all spawn. this I don't know what you guys are but I'll meet a couple of you turn the rest into scene Same thing. Turn you into seeds to bring you back. And then if there's any left, I'll eat it. Man, the hunter gatherer early game experience, I forgot. It's just constant. I'm a single player save. It was just like, okay, guys, it's hunting season, and I go like stockpile enough food for like the next year. Jeez. And do that in like two days, and then you know, go back, <laughs> go back about my business building and chiseling.
Poison Oak. Medicine garden item. Always mm, chili for my character. That's a big bear. <laughs> Going over there. Oh man, I'm gonna need to try and get some fur clothes before winter too. Game, where's all the mushrooms at? Again. I guess we can pick up sticks along the way. Especially baby wolf. Go away. Avoid that area. I like the plague. No, thank you. No, thank you, Wolf. Go away. I've been actually looking for her still for a while, though. So I'll grab that. Uh, stick. And we're gonna have to turn around. Inventory is full. Definitely want to bring a bunch of this back though for some healing potions. stuff in this dense forest but it's also dangerous because a lot of underbrush it's easy to have a wolf kind of come out of nowhere how's it going Lunas? Oh, it's going pretty good. Only died once so far. 
Uh, surviving quite a ways from spawn, so... Dying is kind of a big punishment. We're finally in a little bit of a shelter. So we are progressing into the pottery age now. Um, but we're just out here. Harvesting some stuff, having a good relaxing time as much as possible. Let's head back home. Just ignore the rip and tear in space. That's what I do. seen this game um so obviously it's minecraft no. um, <laughs> um if you ever played minecraft and like played a mod called like terra firmer craft uh, the creator of that mod wanted to make his own game so while yes this looks like minecraft and a lot of the mechanics are pretty similar to minecraft it's a lot more realistic a lot more brutal So now there are some fantasy elements in terms of uh, mobs and like world lore, but generally it's realistic rock strata. You start at the Stone Age and you try and progress through to like you know copper, iron, steel, using kind of more real techniques to like smelt, craft. All right, I've got to go. All right, bud. You have a good one. You too. So, like, for example, in Minecraft, you can punch trees, get wood. This, you can't do that. Like, at all. You have to make an axe. To make an axe, you have to like hit rocks together to kind of make a stone axe kind of deal. Yeah, oh, baby pigs, baby pigs, run, baby pigs, run. Just wait until you grow up, and then I will eat you. I will eat you all. I will come back. Alright, almost home. Just need to get up this little ridge. Alright, there's our little house. Uh, kilns are... Okay, they're, they're progressing. They're progressing. Good, good. I think I have to lay them this mortar down. Yes. Let's see how does this work. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, to use these under story, you must first craft each, place them more on the ground, and then 
to insert the vessel, insert any grindable line to piss off on to insert the vessel. Okay. We don't have any grindable items yet, but that's going to be our mortar pistol kind of setup. Um. There, that's fine. Let's grab our cooking pot here. Set that on the fire. Lovely. And let's plant some of these herbs that we brought home. this um so this was a couple ruins nearby i was able to harvest a lot of the cobblestone and throw it together i then crafted that roofing for it um everything inside was built by me for sure like the baskets the firewood pile um, everything like that yes all right so let's make sure a fire has fuel Okay, and let's go, I guess, try and cook up some sort of protein thing. Go to our cellar, grab some meat. And some berries. This will create three servings of red meat stew with boiled red currants and field mushroom. Let's see how it goes. One of my favorite things is cooking in this game. You can hear the pot. That's cooking. Let's go grab our serving dishes. need for the press. Okay, yeah, we're we're a little ways away from that. Oh, food's done. So this is our meat. Red meat stew with boiled red currants. So let's grab a serving of that. It's going to provide 840 saturation of protein, 120 saturation of fruit, 120 saturation of 
vegetable. Um, so that's gonna almost fill us up here from this level. Yeah, with some left over, so that's pretty good. We're gonna take our storage container, plop that in there. And we don't have anything to seal it with. We don't have any wax or anything like that. So we'll uh, bring it down into the storage area, at least instead of the floor. I don't know how long that'll keep. Start the next kiln. Get some more firewood. All right, that kiln is all set. pretty good, I'd say. Decent little cottage. It's a it's a mixed match, you know, but I think it fits our landscape considering it's it's very uh, um, and that's our temporary home, really, more than anything. Um, which might eventually kind of turn into a farmhouse type deal. Uh, long term. But, you know, since we're kind of up here in the cliffs, pretty high up. Um, with, like, rolling cliffs down to the to an ocean. You know, makes me, makes me think Scotland and Ireland. So, having something like that kind of fits. In a way. And then, you know... Once we get building the actual area up, we'll get, we'll get super serious with our construction. All right, let's store these spears. I don't need to be carrying them with me at the moment. Carry two just for emergency sake. Snack up our firewood a little bit, store the extra clay that we have. And then food wise, we'll store our leftover meat and veggies. Okay, yeah, so we have this meal stored. It's good for 16.5 days. So that's about 12 IRL hours. Now it's not sealed, and this cellar is not ideal temperature-wise, so. Um, it could be better. Now these chicken in the woods, it's pretty good. Mushroom. It's gonna be fresh for 62 days. Down here. The store can't wait till we have metal tools. So we're gonna have our prop pick and pickaxe. We did find some potential copper. Now that was all the way down here, which is about halfway back to spawn. So what we might want to do is actually instead of running around looking for food, like we have been, you might just start running around looking for surface material um, for copper and stuff. Oh, look, little little pine sapling. Uh, seven days growth time for trees. I might have that. 
compared to our crops, which will end up taking like 60 days and stuff. I mean, I might, I might change that even more. Seven days, that's, that's pretty quick for it to mature. Unless it just gets like this big and then there's, we'll have to see if there's a middle step. If there's a middle step, maybe seven days is okay. Um, We brought these back days and days ago. They're still, they're still growing. They're still growing. It's the 6th of June, which means tomorrow when we start streaming. Again, for some more Avengers Story, we'll, uh, we'll be wrapping up June. So again, every real life day is going to correlate to one full month uh, with the server settings and how they play out. Um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed Venture Story, come back tomorrow when we are playing more and continuing with the build. Um, hopefully progressing it from into mid, late um, ceramic age, early copper stage at that point. Hopefully food kind of starts becoming a thing we need to start the garden the proper farm um, which is going to be a whole whole other thing and honestly that might be a seed farm more than actual food um you can stockpile up a lot more food itself prep for winter start thinking about tanning making winter clothes um all that good stuff lots and lots to do we're just starting again if you guys enjoyed the stuff feel free to subscribe Become a member today. The server is open to all of our members. Uh, your guys' support is essentially helping me pay for this thing. So, uh, yeah. You guys have a good week. And we'll see you all in the next one.